Welcome to another episode of the Cat Breeding for Beginners podcast. I'm Pamela and I breed British Shorthairs in Perth, Western Australia. I have a real passion for cat breeding and exhibiting and I want to share my knowledge and experience with you. I'm on a mission to help new cat breeders go from feeling intimidated, confused and having trouble getting started to confidently breeding happy and healthy cats whilst enjoying this amazing hobby. Before we get started, make sure you visit my website and download your copy of my helpful guide, Advice to New Breeders, where experienced breeders share some great tips they wish someone told them when they started breeding. You can find the link on my homepage at www.catbreedingforbeginners.com. Just look for the picture of Angelica with her kittens. Well, hello everyone. I saw something on Facebook the other day and I thought it was really interesting and I might share it with you because I think you'll find it kind of useful, especially if you're a new breeder. Now, this was a post from an established breeder, someone that had been breeding for a pretty long time and and had a, a good idea of what was going on. They'd actually been breeding for a very long time. And they posted on Facebook saying that they were having trouble selling their kittens. And was anybody else having the same amount of trouble? And there was lots of comments. I think they commented and other people commented saying, yes, it's terrible this year. It's because of the economy. It's because there's so many other breeders of my breed. It's because of the backyard breeders. Um, it's everybody undercutting each other on price. And, and all sorts of comments like that were coming up. Now, the first thing that I did before I responded is I thought, well... I'm just going to go have a look at something because I have a feeling I know what the problem might be. And I went and had a look at their Facebook page for their breeding cattery. So they have, um, if you don't have one and you're a new breeder, you need to get one right now. Even if you've not bred any kittens, you need to go and do this right now. You need a Facebook page because that's a really, really good place for people to find you and find out about your kittens. And I have mine. Mine's called Cuddleton British Shorthair. So you want to make sure it's called uh, your prefix, your breeding prefix, and that that actually has the breed of cats that you have as well. So I went and had a look at their page. And I was like, yep, that's pretty much what I expected. The only thing that they'd been posting to the page was pictures of kittens that were available. And they were kittens that were available very soon. So this one's ready to go to our new home next week. This one's ready to go, you know, in, in two weeks' time. This guy's getting desex next week and is looking for a home. And then there was the post that were like, um, this kitten's now a little bit older, so we've reduced the price. Those sorts of posts as well. And that's all there was. And they were pretty few and far between as well. It was pretty clear that they were only posting to their Facebook page when this kind of thing had come up, that they had a kitten that was available and couldn't find it a home. And there was no other content. And so I think that was probably what the mistake was. And I did point that out. I said, you know, you often post pictures of your cats and kittens, and I've seen them, but you're not posting them on your Facebook page. And what you need to think about is that you need to think about when people are looking to buy a kitten, they might go and be looking today. I've decided to look today. I'm going to buy a kitten today. When they look at your Facebook page, they're going to want to see more than just a post saying, I've got a kitten today. Yes, that is going to be super helpful for them. But if they're anything like the people that um, I think get my cats and kittens, they're also going to want to know a lot about you and a lot about your cats. And if they scroll down and they can't see that information, they're going to go elsewhere. So there are also people out there that are looking and thinking about getting a cat or a kitten. They're thinking about it. They're doing their research. They're looking to find out what they need to know about it. They want to know how much they are. They want to know um, what what time of year they're available. They want to know what colors they come in. They want to find people that are local to them. These people are doing research. So they're going to be going and looking at your Facebook page. And if things on your Facebook page answer those questions and, and catch their attention, they're going to save you and look at you again later. But the other thing is that they might actually see the post that you've actually got a kitten for sale and then they might actually be interested in buying that kitten earlier than what they were thinking of. But it all comes down to warming them up and getting them interested and sharing information with them so that they can get to that purchasing decision. And when we talk about marketing, I often use marketing terms and I apologize for that, but it's kind of what I do in my day job. Um, I'm not talking about marketing in terms of selling your kittens for a top dollar. I'm not talking about selling your cats and kittens for profit. I'm talking about marketing your cats and kittens so that you get the very, very best homes for them. And that's what's really important. You want to have, if you have three people to choose from, three people 
people have inquired about a kitten and you've only got three people to choose from and you really need to sell that kitten because you need to get the money for that kitten to pay for other things like food and, and vet bills or whatever, you're more likely to choose just one of those people, the best one out of three. Wouldn't it be so much better if you could choose the best one out of 30? so much better. You're going to have so many more people that are going to be better options for you. And also your Facebook page will deliver you better people if you put a bit of work into it. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to your Facebook page and I want you to look at what you've got on there and what kind of photos you have. Have you just been posting photos of your kittens when they're available and nothing else? Then that needs to change. What I want to see on there is I want to see pictures of your cats, your adult cats, your stud cat looking gorgeous, um, one of your very pregnant females walking around looking fat. I want to see your kids cuddling your cats, your grandkids cuddling your cats. I want to see pictures of you weighing the kittens. I want to see pictures of you feeding the kittens I want to see pictures of you going to cat shows I want to see pictures of you know the new cat show curtains that you're going to be putting your cat in I want to see the whole story behind you and your breeding I want you to show people that it's your hobby I want you to show people that it's something you're passionate about and something you love and I want you to show people how much you love your cats if you have been selling kittens already, if you're not super new to breeding and you've already sold some cats, um, some kittens, I want you to be sharing the pictures that the owners send to you. As long as that picture isn't kind of like, I don't know, dirty looking or um, really weird looking or really you know, dark or something like that. If it's a decent photo and it only has to be half decent, let me tell you, if it's a decent enough photo that, that people can see that the cat's there and the cat's loved and the owner's happy with it, share that photo to your Facebook page. Take the person's words that they've sent you and put it on the post. If you get a photo of, um, I don't know, just a cat sitting on a couch, but the owner's words say, this is this is Stacy. Isn't she gorgeous? We love her so much. Thank you so much for letting us have her. We're absolutely besotted with her. She's the best cat ever. Then you share that photo and you put those words in the post because those are the kinds of things that are going to make people that come along and find you on Facebook go, I want one of their kittens. They will stop looking. They will just follow you and they will wait for one of yours. That is what you want so that you have the biggest amount of people to choose from when it comes time for you to sell your kittens. So get out there, get sharing other stuff. Yes, you can put in those posts that are, I have kittens available. But what you should be doing is you should be when the kittens are born, you know, a couple of days after they're born, um, make sure the bedding's clean and the kittens look cute and the lighting's good. But just take a little photo and say, we've got kittens. They've just been born. We've got two blue ones, two blue males, um, three blue females and a black female. They'll be available when they're 12 weeks old. If you're interested, send me a message. So you need to post like that. Maybe the next week you post, look how cute the kittens are. They're growing up. The next week you post something else. The next week you post something else. Um, maybe you post a picture of each kitten individually. Maybe you post a picture of them all together. But just build up that content. But in between those posts, have other posts saying things like, here's our old um, D6 cat sleeping um, and um, being cute. Um, this cat's 15 years old now and we've had this cat from this age and it's the reason that we started breeding. Post that. We've gone to a show today. Look at everybody in their cages. Post that. Post all of the other stuff in between and then you will find that you will build an audience of people so that when you do post to say these kittens are available, I'm still looking for homes for these kittens, you will have people that will be interested and want them. And if those people, um, if you post on there regularly and ask people to contact you if they're interested in a kitten, even if you don't have kittens, that's how you build your list of people so that when you do, you have a list of people to contact. So I hope that's helpful, but you have to do a little bit of work. You really have to do a little bit of work to make this happen. Um, and it doesn't come naturally to everybody. You might have to set yourself a reminder to do it. I uh, see people do it for you know a week or so, and then they just fall off the wagon and the Facebook page becomes really stagnant and boring again. If you want to have a look at mine, it's Cuddleton British Short Hairs. Um, go have a look because I do post a lot on there. I haven't been posting as much lately because I've been a bit busy, but I post a lot of pictures of my um pet my cats that have gone to new homes i post pictures of my old cats i post pictures of my cats enjoying the sunshine in their pens i post a lot of stuff and that means that people really buy into it they get to know who i am they understand what i value and 
all the time. I hear it all the time. People will say, I just want a kitten from you. They don't have any interest. I don't want to go anywhere else. If I tell them my friends have kittens, I sometimes have people say to me, that's okay. We're just willing to wait for one from you. And that is absolutely what you want to hear. So as a new breeder, it's going to take you a little bit of time to get there. But I really hope that you do because it makes things so much easier if you have homes ready for your kittens. Things are so less stressful if you don't have ones that you can't um, find homes for. So I really want that for you. Now, if you want to find out more information about breeding cats, um, you can visit my website www.catbreedingforbeginners and while you're there check out my new cat breeders club because that's the area where I actually am um, chatting to my members we share information we have an information area as well and if you're looking for a digital mentor you can talk to me and ask me questions directly through the cat breeders new cat breeders club and I'd love to have you there so hopefully I'll see you there soon okay hope that was helpful bye Thanks for listening. Make sure you visit www.catbreedingforbeginners.com where you can find articles, guides, courses and more. Plus, make sure you check out my amazing New Cat Breeders Club. It's a supportive space where new cat breeders can learn, share and help each other. I only take new members a few times a year, so sign up to make sure you don't miss out.